What's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, I want to talk about crypto mining pools, MEV, and how we as miners should be holding these pools accountable to ensure that they're paying the profits they should to the miners. Now, in light of VIP 1559 moving as scheduled and 3368 being shelved, uh, profits are going to take a little bit of a hit, but MEV can offset that. Recently, we had a couple pools announced that they will be going live with their MAV beta. One of them is Bitfly or Ethermine. And they say here, in order to compensate the upcoming mining reward reduction caused by the adoption of EIP-1559, we have launched our MAV beta program. 80% of our MAV revenue will be distributed alongside the mining block rewards. Now, at the time of filming, the second pool that I was able to find or identify is Ezil Pool, um, who have, is also going to be paying 80% of its MEV profits to miners, while 20% is going to be going to the pool development and research. However, neither of these pools have announced it on their website. Yeah, they got their Twitter. Uh, you can see their, you know, their Twitter on, on their pages where they posted it. But it's not really in black and white on the website itself. What I would like to see is when you go look at the mining pool stats, uh, maybe of your particular miner or something like that, you could see a percentage of what profits you got from MEV, you know, overall uh, and as well on their main page you know you see the hash rate active workers workers all that stuff they should have another section here where they talk or provide the data about MEV on each of these pools but I want to read off a couple of things to you in case you're not aware so minor extractive value MEV uh, I believe some people come up with the name maximal extractive value something like that the arbitrage strategy strategy sees bots identify and target trades waiting in Ethereum mempools the bots can use a few observed techniques to profit from the targeted trade. For one, a bot will find a profitable trade waiting in the mempool, then it will copy that trade and up the gas price in the transaction. Now, also, the pools can lower the gas price. So I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. That way, a miner will package its copy before the, tr before the original can go through. After scraping the Ethereum blockchain, starting from the first block of 2020, Researchers have found a total of $314 million worth of profits, 540,000 uh, 540, Ethereum, since January 1st, 2020. Okay, so these announcements to me sound like this is brand new. This is something that they're implementing just because EIP 1559 was going through. Uh, that is not 100% what. I, I, I see from this, okay? They have been using MEV for a while now, and I want you to understand that. Additional research found that several cases of suspicious transactions mined by major pools such as Spark Pool and F2 Pool. They were often initiated by a small set of addresses and appeared first in blocks despite having a lower gas fee than others below. The behavior is not immediately explainable by legitimate activities such as minor reward and distributions, but it is also unclear what is the purpose of these transactions. Uh, a more evident case of MEV can be observed with the smaller pools like two miners, minor all pool, and a zill, which hold about 2% of the total hash rate. The second clue is that the transaction is an arbitrage trade that netted its sender about $70 out of a commitment of $2,800. Such a trade would never be profitable with today's gas fees. Hence, existing arbitrage traders ignored the opportunity, while it's also unclear who is the culprit behind this transaction. It's virtually impossible that this was done without assistance from miners. Now, I wouldn't say the miners specifically, right? Because we just get a job and then we complete the job, but the pools have control. The pool has the capability of lowering the gas and still have a transaction go through. But me, myself, try to send you $10, I'm going to pay $5 just to send you 10 And if I send my gas too low, it's going to get stuck. Well, they're able to manipulate it and drop it down. So that's killing your profits, right? Because we get the percentage of our work is paid out based on, uh, you know, we get the block reward plus gas. But if they drop the gas, that's going to eat into your profits as well. Um... It's important to note that MEV is not always performed by miners, but mainly by the trading bots often run by market-making firms. In fact, there's little to no evidence to suggest that Ether mi Ether Ethereum miners have employed MEV techniques to date. 
Some Ethereum mining pools have even built custom networks uh, to deter front running or form of MEV, such as Sparks Pools Tachi Network. Here's a little dashboard. Again, everything's gonna be linked down below. Uh, that kind of shows you, you know, what the profits were or extracted MEV were um, since January 1st, 2020. I believe this is the last 30 days uh, of, you know, from the time of filming in the past 30 days. And the last 24 hours, uh, 6 million was made off of MEV profits. And if we look at some of these transactions, these transactions right here are flex pool. This is just some examples of a payment that was made to initiate this transaction, right? So think of it as, um, I'm gonna use the valet uh, analogy, which may not be the proper one, but I pull up in my Lamborghini, even though you have a bunch of cars that you're, you, you and your team have to park and, and, and assist the clients, I pull up and I give you my keys and $100 to deal with my Lamborghini before all the other cars. You take the payment, you take the keys, and you deal with me first. The pools can choose which transactions to handle first based on profitability, and then they can manipulate or change, lower the gas just to get the transaction done. Flexpool, uh, this is evidence that Flexpool was getting paid uh, to complete a transaction with a higher priority than others, um, and they are giving 90% of their MEV profits back to the miners while the other pools are only giving 80%. Now, I'm not trying to stir up a lot of emotion. I just want you to be aware of something and I'll wrap it up here in just a second. Uh, another payment, Flex Pool got 1.54, which was paid out, 90% was paid out to their miners for initiating this transaction. However, if we look at other situations, look at this gas price. You see how low that gas price is? That, that gas does not match the amount here. Something doesn't add up for me. And I'm not a technical person, so I, I would ask uh, other more technical individuals, maybe Michael Carter from Bitsby Trippin, um, or somebody from the Flash uh, Flashbots can, can come on to the channel uh, during a live stream and explain it in greater detail. But something doesn't add up here, okay? We're seeing this this makes zero sense to me zero ether there's the gas zero ether there's the gas i don't know what exactly is happening and then here's one from Ezil that paid no gas but they got 0 0.55 this doesn't this doesn't compute in my head and so there's a there's a lack of transparency uh here that's a little bit concerning and i think the pools need to be a little bit more transparent about it everything's going to be linked down in the description but i just want to wrap up with my thoughts here i'm giving you links to descriptions to where you can see these transactions and see it for yourself there's going to be additional information because now we got something called sandwich bundles that's happening or sandwich trades uh that's happening and i believe there's an article that's going to be coming out in the future so make sure you keep an eye on this but this is something that all miners should be aware of. all right the pools that are announcing that they're going to start allowing uh miners to to receive 80 percent of the mev profits is not new if they have been at this for a long time at least a year uh and and i believe in some cases we actually seen some uh some situations at mev dating back uh close to 2017 then this is something that needs to be brought to light and we as miners need to hold our pools that we mine on accountable and they need to start paying the profits that they make off of mev to the miners they shouldn't be pocketing it now yeah they probably have a right not to pay the miners whatever but fair is fair right if i do if, if if you hire me for a job and i do all the work and you don't then you should give me a, a better a bigger portion of the profits because i did all the work so spark pool i don't know what's going on with that i don't know if they made an announcement Ethermine made an announcement. F2 pool, I haven't heard anything. Spider pool, I haven't heard anything. I can't speak for every single one of these pools, but the only three pools that I know at the time of recording that has announced uh, MEV is Flex Pool, Ethermine, um, and Azil. But Flex Pool just got theirs not too long ago, up and running. So what I want to leave you with in this video, and I and I and I ask for your assistance, is 
where don't attack these pools, but let's make sure these pools are being held accountable. Kind of like uh, if you're in the U.S., right? We have our senators that we elect, and then we, they they are they are elected to represent our our states, right? Your local official is elected to re represent your county. We need to make sure these pools are held accountable because they represent the miners and are paying at least at least 80% of the MEV profits to miners. Um, I think that would be fair. It would make up for the the loss with EIP 1559, like uh, Bitfly or the tweet here says. It would it would make up, um, but the fact that they're able to lower the gas on a transaction, still get it through, which screws the miners because the the gas is low, so you're not getting you're not getting as many profits. Uh, but they have been running MEV and haven't paid the miners. It's it's cause for concern. Okay, it's cause for concern. The, if MEV has been operational for a while, it's been working, uh, and maybe it was an alpha, right? So maybe Bitfly or Ethermine has had uh, MEV, but it's been an alpha because they're testing and stuff like that. Um, cool. Why weren't you open about it? Why didn't you tell us about it? Okay. Why Why are the profits going to you instead of us? You know, what are you doing with those profits? Are you developing? Are you Are you upgrading? What are you doing with those profits? Okay. Like I, there's an explanation that needs to be heard from these pools, in my opinion, um, and they need to pay out MEV, and they need to make sure it's clear that MEV was being utilized, whether it was in testing phase, alpha, whatever. MEV's been utilized for quite some time now, and the pools have just been keeping the profits, not going to the miners. And I think if if we already had that transparency, if we we the miners already knew that. This whole EIP 1559 thing that, that kind of got crazy wouldn't even have that been that big of a concern. Because, yeah, you may burn the fees, but we still get MEV. So profits wouldn't be as much of a concern. We probably would have, we would have made more money with the current system plus MEV, yes. And so I can understand the pools keeping a percentage of it to help develop and grow. But they've been doing this for a while. They haven't been paying us profits, and we need to hold them accountable and make sure that they are going to allocate a percentage of their profits off of MEV to the miners. And, and I understand they're, they're manipulating. Some of them are manipulating the gas to make sure one transaction goes in, and they're making profits off of it. And there's more detail that I can't even cover in the technical aspect, but stay tuned. And keep an eye on this particular MEV conversation um, because there's going to be more and more articles as we learn more and more about it. Ever since the dev meeting, as soon as we found out about MEV, we asked questions, we got data, and then we started looking. And MEV has been around for a while and it does have, in my eyes, a cause for concern that these pools are just keeping all the profits to themselves. If they're manipulating the gas to get the transaction through, and they're keeping the profits that they make off of these MEV transactions. That is that to me is is unfair, and they should do right by the miners. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. You guys have a great day. Stay respectful. If you communicate with any of the pools, devs, or otherwise, no matter who they are, be respectful. If you're gonna present an argument, use factual and data to help you out. All right, stay respectful. I'll see you guys in the next one.